Haifa, Haifa is the only one that's ready to change. Haifa, one star for you. <laughs> All right, so if you're ready to change, prove it. At the count of three, stand up, go around your chair one time, and sit down. You say you're ready to change, right? At the count of three, stand up, go around your chair, and sit down. One, two, three. <laughs> well, whether you did it or not, I didn't see. I can't see any. <laughs> Uh, but for those who switch on the camera at my RAM, she didn't move a bit. <laughs> now, here's the point, everybody. For those of you who did change, good for you. I'll, I'll give you that star if you really did change. Star. For the rest of you, if you cannot make a change at your seat, then don't talk to me about changing the world. If you cannot make a change now, then don't talk to me about making that change in the future. If you cannot make a change with yourself, then don't talk to me about making that change for the family. If you cannot do that change, then what can you change? <laughs> Some of you have made that change since the start of the session until this very moment of time. I'll prove it to you. Some of you have made a big change. I'll prove it to you. Count your stars now. Respond in the chat box. How many stars did you get? Hakimi got two. <laughs> Hakimi got 10. I kick you out from the Zoom, Hakimi. <laughs> How many stars did you collect? One Ketu Shahira. Alia got seven. Question mark, eh? Come on. Seven or seven? <laughs> Sazwani got one. How many stars did you collect? The rest of you did not collect? High far. I gave you a lot of stars. Mariam got six. I ain't got two. All right. So it looks like <laughs> it looks like for uh, uh, Mariam and Alia, you have reached the level of Dato. Yeah, meaning throughout the night, <laughs> whenever you meet these two. Dato apa khabar? Dato have you eaten or not? Tabik Dato. Not only that, not only that. Uh, Alia and Mariam, I want to give you my book. So later on, Alia, give me your full name and address. I've got your number already. Mariam, you send Alia your full name and your address and I'll post you my book. Yeah. My book called In Your Face. Now, ladies and gentlemen, that book, is worth about 70 ringgit. So what does it mean for the rest of you? It means tonight, you just missed out on 70 ringgit. <laughs> so what does that mean for you in life? Well, today is 70 ringgit. One day it might be 700 ringgit, it might be 7,000 ringgit, it might be 700,000 ringgit. <laughs> But because of the bangles in your head, you're going to miss out. Now, look at, I know, not fair. I just had my dinner while listening to this. Look at the bangau coming out there. Bangau? <laughs> we'll talk more, I know, about just, about just that shortly. Okay? <laughs> yeah. How much risk that you want to miss out in life? How much, uh, you know, I always tell people, um, do not take the smallest risky today. Do not take it for granted. 
because one day you might miss out big, bigger risk in life. Yeah. So how much money have to slap you on the face before you wake up? How many opportunities in life must slap you in the, in the face before you wake up? <laughs> yeah. It is all, it is depending on how much were you aware of those opportunities. Today is just 70 ringgit. You missed out on that. But one day it might be that 70 ringgit might be 700,000 ringgit. And you will still miss out because of that bangaos in your head. So stop bangaoing. Type on the chat box, capital letters. Stop bangaoing. There you go. Oh. There you go. That's the bang out. You want to see out of your, your head. Yeah. So. Mariam, read the screen. What was the question on the screen? The one with the question mark, right? Eh? Yeah. What achievements have you had in your life? Very good. Thank you, Maria. Uh, since you already got your, your, your star for the book, you can still collect stars, Maria. So we'll use Mariam's voice. <laughs> now, what achievements have you got in your life? What achievements have you obtained in your life? Give me one. I mean, since the day you were born until the day you, today, I'm sure you've had so many achievements in your life. What achievements have you had in your life? Give me one that you were most proud of. Give me one that you were most proud of. Oh, learn to say no. Okay, yeah, yeah. That's a big achievement, cool. Thank you, star. Or let you start. Give me one big achievement that you've had in your life. Born as a Muslim, cool. Three stars. I've never heard that kind of answer before, Aina. Cool. I've done this program for 14 years. I've never heard that answer before. Three stars for you. Two for you, Aina. Come on. Give me one achievement that you've had in your life. I know how to float in water today. Boleh, I know one star for you. <laughs> stop, stop disregarding my emotions for others. Hashtag deep sangat, deep sangat, Fatin. Can one star for you, Fatin. Cool. That's a that's a achievement. Cool. Yeah. So here's the point. When you list out all these achievements, yeah, you know what it means. Meaning, it means that you've had a track record of achievements. You have a track record of achievements. So if you had a track record of achievements, then there is no reason that you, can, you cannot create some more achievements. You've achieved things before, it only means you can achieve more. No bangals about it because these achievements came in because you did something. You made choices that led you to those achievements. And here's, here's something to discuss, yeah? Um, whether your achievements, did it come in by choice or did it come in by luck? Respond to the chat box. I mean, getting into IAUM, that's an achievement, right? Okay, please respond. Getting to be a student in IAUM, was that by choice or was that by luck? Respond. Yeah, yang ni IAUM saja, respond. <laughs> Choice, 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 choice. Ugh. 
choice. Very good. Love and choice, get the ein. Mm. Okay. Confusion there. Okay. Ein, why do you say love and choice? Um, at first, uh, I'm, uh, I, I got your A because of that, and then uh, I don't have any choice, so I choice. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you for switching on your mic. Uh, I'm two stars for you. All right, let's, let's uh, differentiate this word of love and choice so that you understand the concept correctly. Okay, Maria, I'm going to use your voice again, Maria. Ready? All right, Maria. Uh, yeah. Once upon a time ago, let's say you were you know, student after SPF, after your A-levels, you had no university to go to, so you were sitting at the side of the road, not doing anything, no university to go to. And then one of the lecturers of IUM was driving past. He, show, he saw you at the side of the road and then he stopped his car. Hey! He pulled down his windows and then he asked you, you got university or no university? And then you said, no university, sir. So, okay, you know university, you come into my car, we go into IIUM. Did that happen to you, Mariam? <laughs> Long story. Did that happen to you? <laughs> no. Okay, so no, no, how, did, how, how did you get into IIUM, Mariam? I chose to be. What did you do? What did you do? I applied. You applied. Who yeah. applied, Mariam? Myself. Okay, put I your did. hand here. All right. Okay, you applied. Okay, cool. Yeah. And then um, when you applied, uh, they called you. Was there an interview? No, there wasn't. There wasn't an interview, but they gave you an offer letter. Yes or no? Yes, they did. Who accepted the offer? I accepted. I accepted. Put your hand here. Come on, put your hand here. There you go. I accepted. There you go. I accepted. <laughs> And then who since that day until today, every morning, bed, go to class, who? I am. All right. Who stress doing assignments, who? I am. Pening kepala with the assignments, who? I am. Sleep late night doing assignments, oh. who? <laughs> Always I am. Stress because of exams, who? So whose choice to be in IUM? It's my choice. So don't complain, yeah? <laughs> don't complain, lecturer gila. Don't complain, exams too hard. Don't complain. Nah. Thank you, Mariam, to start for you for participating. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> Every moment is a choice. Write it down. Either you write it down, or you take a picture of this screen, fine by me, okay? Every moment is a choice. We learned this sentence since we were standard one, but our teachers and lecturers, they forgot to tell us of secret sentence number two. <laughs> Alia, do you know secret sentence number two? Um, I, I think no. It's on the screen there. Oh, and every choice is my choice. Okay. <laughs> Stuff for you. Yeah, thank you. <laughs> every choice is my choice. What does my choice mean? Every moment is a choice and every choice is my choice. Yeah. So here's the question. What does my choice mean? Please respond on the chat box. What does my choice mean? Come on. What does my choice mean? What does my choice mean to you? Freedom. That's very general, right? Come on, what does my choice mean to you? Uh, Ali, okay, it's my res that is my responsibility is to make the full all of it. Can, can, star for you, Alia. Come on, I'm st I'll give you star for that freedom thingy, okay? What does it mean? 
What does my choice mean to you? Come on, respond. What does my choice mean to you? You always say it. My choice, my choice. But what does it mean? Among the most philosophical people in IUM, we bench students. Come on, respond to me. <laughs> what does my choice mean? Too deep for you? <laughs> Maria is typing. Come on. What does my choice mean to you? I accept whatever I choose to be. Cool. Start for you, Maria. Nur Iman says, I am ready to take the risk. Cool, Iman. Start for you, Iman. Yeah. I'm ready to take the risk. Fatin says, taking risks for an opportunity that will be beneficial for me. <laughs> Start for you, Fatin. So, let me give you my version of what my choice means. Yeah? Sazwani kata, I need to bear all the possible consequences, good and bad. Yeah, cool. Start for you, Sazwani. This is my version of what my choice means. Yeah. When I say I make a choice, it means that I will do anything and everything in the most legal and halal sense of the word to get what I want. I will do anything and everything to become the best I can. This is what my choice means. So what does it mean you as a student at IUM? Well, you choose to be a student, therefore you will do anything and everything in the most legal and halal sense of the word to become a great student. You will do anything and everything in the most halal sense of the word to achieve the best result as a student. Because some of, most of you here are all students. You chose to be a student at IUM, whereas you know of somebody who is at your age and they chose to get married. They chose to work. They chose to do business. You chose to be a student. So whatever choices you made, you made a choice. When you say you made a choice, therefore you will do anything and everything in the most legal and halal sense of the word to achieve what you want. So this brings us to that dilemma again. So if we know what is choice, then what is luck? Don't confuse luck with fate. Yeah? Fate is something which you, you know, something which God has decided since who knows when. Do you know what's fated for you? No. But we believe. So we know what is fate. We know what is choice. Then where do you put luck? In the next 30 seconds, I want you to come, come up with a scenario. Don't give me a definition. Give me a scenario. This is luck. Give me a situation which you say, this is luck. Don't give me a definition. Eh? If a definition would be here for like three nights. <laughs> give me a situation which you say, this is luck. 30 seconds, start now. All right, so give me a situation, anybody? You can either switch on the mic or you can type it, type it there. I'd rather you switch on the mic. At least you're talking direct to me. What's luck? Give me a situation. We just agreed that every moment is a choice and every choice is my choice. So where do you put luck? What's this thing called luck? Remember, don't get confused with fate. I got extra strawberries on my slice of cake. <laughs> now, assuming that Iman uh, bought the cake at a cake shop, for example. Huh? Here's the point, Iman. Who chose that cake shop? 
who shows that slice of cake? Now, whether you got extra strawberries or not, you don't know yet. This is what we call fate, things which you don't know, but you choose first. Wait, you got luck. Think about it. Thank you, ma'am. You being first to respond. Someone paid for my meals, Keta Alia. Okay, let's say you chose one of the many canteens on IUM. Who chose to go to that canteen at that moment of time? You did. Who chose to order what to order? You did. Now, whether somebody paid for you or not, you didn't, you didn't know that. This is what we call faith, things which you don't know. But you chose first. Wait, got luck. Thank you, Alia. Stop. Man, give me a situation. What's up? You use the word, but you don't even know where it is. Come on, give me a situation. I was found and I got lost once upon a time ago. Okay. I'm assuming that you were small at that moment of time. Okay. All right. So, Alia, who chose to follow the parents when they went out that day? You did. Who chose to leave the parent, like go of the parent's hand and wandered off curiously? <laughs> you did. <laughs> now, whether you were found or not that particular day, you didn't know yet. This is what we call faith, things which you don't know, but you choose first. Where got luck? When I dry clothes, it's scorching hot. Who chose to wash clothes that day? <laughs> Who chose to wash clothes that morning or that afternoon or at three o'clock? Who chose? Whether it was rainy or dry, you don't know yet. This is what we call faith, things you don't know. Well, you choose first, we got luck. <laughs> okay, that's, that's fun. 20 ringgit, ah, Isa says, found 20 ringgit in the side pocket of your old bag. <laughs> of your old bag, like Isa. Eh? <laughs> Number one, who chose to put the 20 ringgit there in the first place? Who chose to forget about it? <laughs> Who chose to look for it and you know, you know, didn't actually look for it, but put their hands in that particular pocket at that moment of time? Now, whether with the, that 20 ringgit fell out or not, we didn't know yet. This is what we call fate, things which you don't know, but you choose first. Where got luck? <laughs> uh, managed to get all kills on the first round in the game. Number one, who chose to play that game? You did. <laughs> who chose to shoot and point and shoot? You did. Now, whether you hit it on the first round or not, we don't know yet. This is what we call fate. Things which you don't know, but you chose first. We got luck. Someone corrected your wrongs. Okay. Fatin, who chose to be a good person? I mean, if you were a bad person, would anybody correct your wrongs? Nah. <laughs> they'll say go to hell <laughs> but somebody chose to help you out of that right so who chose to be a good person whether somebody did help you that particular day we don't know yet this is what we call faith things which you don't know but you choose first we got luck ah Ali I'll use the word alive all right let's talk about death let's talk about death Alia, okay and the rest of you please respond death is it luck or is it choice? Death. Is it luck or is it choice? <laughs> this is going deep. Alia says choice. That, but she puts a question mark there. Just in case. <laughs> Come on. Death. Mati. Is it luck or is it choice? Mariam cannot decide. Fatin, come on, respond. Death, Mati. <laughs> Why the question marks, la? Come on, certain. 
พิเศษเถอะละเวลมาเรียมวิลเซียอิสฟิตเกินมาเรียมวิลฟิตเถอะตัวได้ไรอเมริกวิดอโนเวร์วิดอโนฮาววิดอโนเวร์เกินมาเรียมวิลฟิตเถอะตัวได้ย่า that's what we call fit เกิน let's check out this picture this picture this lady is is the name her name is Sabine Now, Sabine, when she was uh, 10 years old, that's her face when she was 10 years old. Um, no, sorry, 12, forgot. When she was 12 years old, in 1996, when she was 12 years old, she was kidnapped. She was kidnapped for 50 days. Each and every day in those 50 days, the person who kidnapped her did many, 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 many terrible things to her. She was the fifth victim. Four victims before her died. She was the only survivor. People asked her, how did you survive? She answered, I chose to live. Mm. How? Choose to live, choose to die. Remember the tsunami which happened in Aceh once upon a time ago? Days after the tsunami, they found this guy floating in the middle of the sea, still alive. When they rescued him, they asked him, how did you survive? He answered, I hung on to this coconut tree. It means he chose to hang on. You, he could have chosen to let go. You can choose to drive carefully. You can choose to drive carelessly. You can choose to smoke. You can choose not to smoke. You can choose to take drugs. You can choose not to take drugs. You can choose to live. You can choose to die. Whether you live or you die, who decides? Whether you live or you die, who decides? Allah. <laughs> There's this guy who comes, goes up the building. He wants to commit suicide. He jumps. But by the time he reaches the ground, he's alive. He's broken up, but he's alive. <laughs> so whether you live or you die, God decides, but you choose first. So if you can choose to live and you can choose to die, then you can choose to be successful or you can choose to fail. It is not because of IAUM you are successful in life. IUUM supports you, giving you the best lecturers, best books, best support. But some people in the same IUUM, they choose to fail. Like the guys who sabotage our screen this, this, this evening. <laughs> They're from IUUM also. <laughs> and they choose to fail. So if you can choose to live and you can choose to die, then you can choose to be successful or you can choose to fail. Choose lah. I want you to write down this sentence. Life is full of choices. Now you know the sentence, write it down. Life is full of choices. You learned this sentence since you were standard one. But again, your teachers forgot to tell you the secret second sentence. Alia, what's the secret second sentence? So choose la. Choose la. <laughs> Thank you, Alia. <laughs> choose la. Maksudnya what? Maksudnya study la, work la, get married la, do business la, choose la. You can choose to be anybody you want. Choose la. Why? Because every moment is a choice, and every choice is. My choice. So choose now. So here's the question now. How do you make that right choice? <laughs> Can we choose to take a break now? Five minute toilet break. Choose to take a five minute toilet break starts now. Siapa lambat masuk bangau? And timing.
Hakimi, you still there? Yes, he's uh, Thank you, I'm still here. All right. Thank you, Hakimi. Welcome, welcome. I've lost uh, control of my cursor. I cannot see my cursor, Hakimi. Oh, you cannot see the, the cursor? I don't know why. I know it's there. It's moving. I mean, something is moving, but I've lost. Um, using Mac, right? Yeah. Uh, uh, it is after the the attack tadi. Oh. Okay. Is the slide a uh, full screen or? Right now it's full screen. Let's see whether if I go out of the screen, yeah. stop share. Uh, uh, stop share. And then uh, try to see if the cursor is there. All right, stop share. Going back in. Sharing screen. Two minutes more. No. Nope. Okay, so it is gone. I think because of the before before this, uh, when Giza used the full skin, the cursor is there. Hmm. I'm gonna do something else for that. I'm going to change my camera. Okay. camera. Keep it, you can. Keep it, uh, power. Share screen. Still the same? Still the same. Still the same. Hell oh, man. As long as I can. Just I got I got then I know where I am. Okay. Lah. All right, uh, one minute more. For those of you who are back and you want to ask me a question, you can. Three, two, one. All right. For those of you who are already back in front of the screen, please type yes on the chat box, please. So, 
All right, cool. Thank you for still being with us. One star each for saying yes. <laughs> All right. So uh, just before you left for a toilet break, I asked you the question, how do you make a right choice? How do you make choices? Respond, how do you make right choices? We say every moment is choice and every choice is my choice. All right, fine, okay. So how do you make a right choice? A communicator compare, pro and con. Cool, alchemy start, right? Pray istikharah kata Ainun. Cool. Uh, Ainun, I'm going to suggest you do solat hajat first banyak kali. And if you still cannot make a choice, then you do istikharah. Because when you do istikharah, you're asking Allah to make the choice for you. Buatnya Allah bagi choice, you pula yang tak suka, mau kena lempak. <laughs> so, do solat hajat banyak-banyak dulu. And if you still cannot make that choice, then you do istikharah. Yeah, start for you, Ainun. Weigh the pro and cons. Go, Fatin, start, Ken. As a friend, go, start, Ain. Good. Iman says, uh, learn from past mistakes, Ken. Start, all right, good. All you said here are true and correct. I'm going to add three more ways. Yeah, I'm going to add three more points how to make a right choice. Okay. The first fatwa. How to make a right choice? Every choice you make is right. So have faith. Have faith when making choices. That's the patua number one. Have faith when making choices. Now let, let me explain myself. Every choice you make is right. I mean, do you wake up this morning and you say, today I want to make a wrong choice. Did that happen? Nah. <laughs> you chose what you chose because it was right for you. That's why you chose that. Or not you have chosen something else. I mean, you ask any person who smokes, why do you smoke? They most likely give you a positive answer. Oh, because I wanted to calm myself. Oh, because, you know, it makes me creative. Oh, you know. So you chose what you chose because it was right for you. Otherwise, you would have chosen something else. So every choice you, uh, every choice you make is right. So have faith. Lah. The question is, where is faith? Head or heart? Respond on the chat box. Where is faith? F-A-I-T-H. When I say have faith, okay, where? Where's faith? Head or heart? Respond. Heart. Heart. Yeah. How do you know? Oh, you learned this from Frozen 1. <laughs> I'm sure you watched Frozen 1, can Remember? At the start of that movie, the princess yang kena magic tu was brought to the troll. And then the troll asked, is it the head or the heart? Because the head is easily persuaded, meaning what's in the head can change. Beliefs are like that. Beliefs are made in the head. Beliefs can change with knowledge. It's not permanent. It changes. But what's in the heart that sticks the, the Arabic word for it is tahkik, lekat. So what does it mean? It means when you make a choice, you must feel for it. If you, for those of you who saw a lembaga lalu kat belakang, eh, that's my wife. Tiba-tiba ada lembaga putih kat belakang. That's my wife. All right. When you make a choice, you must feel for it. When you feel good, make the choice. When you feel bad, don't make the choice. If you don't feel anything, don't make the choice yet. 
Uh, meaning, go get some more information until you feel for it. So again, uh, when I say every choice you make, make it with faith because every choice you make is right. So have faith. Lah. Where is faith? Faith is in the heart. Meaning, when you make a choice, you must feel for it. You feel good, make the choice. You feel bad, don't make the choice. You don't feel anything eh, at all, <laughs> don't make a choice yet. Go get some more information. That's petua number one. Tip number two, petua number two. How to make the right choice? Now answer at the chat box. Which part of the body do you use to make choices? Ayn, I'll answer your question shortly. Let's do. Let's finish this two, three per two first. Okay. Which part of the body you use to make choices? Head only, me? Only the head. Head and heart. Very good, Ayn. Start for you. Head and heart. Okay. All right. Question: Who made the head and heart? Head and heart. Who made God? Allah. Okay. So Allah makes the head and heart. And you use the head and heart to make choices, right? So watch me. Every time you make a choice, use the head and heart. Remember God. Because sometimes we remember something else. Sometimes we remember love. Sometimes we remember sadness. Sometimes we remember family. Sometimes we remember work. Sometimes we remember assignments. Kita menduakan Tuhan. Then God will test you. You forgot God. <laughs> you know, whenever you forget God, God will test you. You know why? Because all those tests that we go through in life are just reminders. They're not punishment. Punishment that heaven and hell, that's punishment. But all these tests that we go through in life, however challenging those tests are, I just remind this. You know why? Because during those times that we forget God, God gives us those reminders through the test. And when the test come to us, you know what happens? We say, Allah, <laughs> we remember God again. <laughs> so every time you make a choice, use the head and heart, remember God. That's why when we were small, when we want to eat, we say, Bismillah. Yeah, we want to go on a, in the car, we say Bismillah. You want to go in at home, you go home, we say Bismillah. Remember God. Lah. And every time you forget, Allah will remind you. So it's best to remember first before you're reminded. <laughs> so whenever you make a choice, remember God. Then you will always be guided. Number three, how to make the right choice. Have faith that everything you do, it is because Allah will it to do, will it to become. Okay. Again, have faith that everything that happens to you, everything that happens to you is because Allah will it. When you have that kind of faith, Will there ever be a wrong choice? No. Nothing happens by accident. Uh, Mariam, did you watch Kung Fu Panda, Mariam? No, I didn't. Oh my God. Did not watch Kung Fu Panda. I, I pity you, Mariam. Seriously, go watch tonight. Alia, do you watch Kung Fu Panda? Yes, I watched yeah. all three. There you go. Remember the first one where the, the Sifu said, there are no accidents. Yes. <laughs> Nothing happens to you by accident. Tidak ada kebetulan. Semuanya telah ditentukan. So when you have faith that everything that happens to you is because Allah will it to happen, then there can be no wrong choice. Every choice you make is right. Allah will it. Allah, Allah allowed it to happen. All right. So those are the three ways how to make choices. In addition to all those other ways that you mentioned here already. Can we answer, uh, what was the question just now? 
Mariam, could you help me look for that question because my my cursor yeah. is actually like, yeah, um, what, was that what about we have make what about we have made a choice but want to turn back? Okay, to turn back is a choice. What was that lady's name? The sister's name? What's her name? Uh, Ain Shafika. Yeah, Ain. Ain. To not make a choice is a choice. <laughs> to not make a choice is a choice. So whether you choose to carry on or you choose to turn back is totally a choice that you want to make. And every choice you make is right. For every reason. So if you choose to turn back, hey, that's totally your choice. Nobody's going to judge you for that. The only person judging you are people who are busy body who have no other things to do. Or you who feel that people are judging you already. No, no, no. Judgment doesn't happen until judgment day. Everybody has a perception about what you do. Yes, they have perceptions. Even if you don't do anything, I, they will still talk. <laughs> yeah? So... As long as whatever you do, as long as whatever you're doing is halal, then go ahead. Why not? People will still talk even if you don't do anything. Yeah. So every choice is your choice. Choose luck. Now, Let's talk about problems. When we talk about you know, choices, uh, a person who takes charge is a person who acknowledges this. Things happen to you. This is what we call fate. And guess what? It is not what happens to you. It is how you respond to what happens to you. Let's not talk about fate. You know why? Because that's beyond you. A lot of fate. Allah has fated for you so many things that we do not know. Yeah, Allah dah takdirkan macam-macam untuk kita. Adakah kita mungkin tahu? No, we don't. So it's not about what happens to you. It's about how you respond to what happens to you. That's a choice. Because you can respond professionally or you can respond emotionally. You can choose to stress out. You can choose to cry. Or you can choose to be happy about it and move on. I mean, for example, you're caught in a traffic jam. You're in the car and you're caught in the traffic jam. That traffic jam is like five miles, you know, long. You get so stressed out. And then you turn to the driver next to you because you want to get some sympathy from the guy. But then you see the guy smiling and laughing and singing in the car. Now, both of you are in the same traffic jam. But he chose to smile and laugh. You choose to be stressed. You're still in the same jam. So it's not because of the jam that made you stress. No. You chose to be stressed. He chose to smile. Anything and everything can happen to you. Anything good or anything bad. How you respond to what happens to you, that's a choice. So let's talk about problems now. Do we have problems in life? Yes. Guess what? No problem, no fun. <laughs> it's like it's like a soccer game, lah. You know, you're playing against the opposite team, and the opposite teams keep quiet, and you win 100-0. Fun or no fun? No fun. You know why? No challenge. Cannot show off your skills. Life is like that, lah. No problem, no fun. Cannot show off your skills. That's why in university you got exams for you to have fun, lah. <laughs> Maria, could you read out what's on the screen that you see right now? If there are so many problems, why move? why move? They say forgive and forget. I say hurt and let go. Thank you. We we love to change. We do. I mean, if we don't love to change, we, don't, we didn't bathe this morning. I mean, we bathe every day. We change clothes every day. If you go around and smell people <laughs> and that person smells like funny, huh? that person doesn't like to change, we all, but we all love to change. We bathe every day. We change clothes every day. We do it because it's, 
That's what we want to do. It's a choice, okay? But do we have problems with it? Yes, we do. Will we have problems with it? Yes, we have. Yeah. So the question is, what do you want actually? When we talk about problems in life, eh? before I tell you about the types of problems, there's this thing called intention. I mean, all of us want to graduate and that's your finishing line. Yeah. But everybody seems to forget in a race, everybody gets that finishing line so clear, but they seem to forget there is a starting line that should be even clearer. Why do you want to graduate? Have you ever answered that question? Because if you don't get your intentions clear, your starting line clear, as you go through your, your, your university days, will you be challenged? Yeah, problems will come your way. Family problems, health problems, relationship problems, love life problems, you know, exam problems, assignment problems. It'll hit you every day. So if your intentions are not clear, then you're going to get derailed far from your path. And some of you are already asking, why am, why am I still here? What am I doing here? So as you get your goals in life clear, right now your goals is to graduate, right? Get your intentions clearer too. Why are you doing this? The Matsale calls it the big why. I call it intentions. Farah call it niat. <laughs> why do you want to graduate? Get those intentions clear. So that when problems come your way, you don't get derailed too far your intentions will always anchor you back to the path. Let's talk about problems. There are three kinds of problems. Some, one prob some problems come from me, from yourself. Yeah? For example, um, I do not know how to speak English correctly. Is that a problem for some of us? Yes. Can that problem be solved? Yes. How? Respond on the chat box. Come on, earn your stars. Practice, scan, star, Alia. Come on. I cannot speak English correctly. Learn, can, I start. But then, learn and practice. You saying both what these people say already. Come on, give me something new. Read books, can uh, give me stuff. Come on. Marry an English man, English woman. Is that a choice? Yeah. <laughs> Watch movies without the subtitles. Yeah. Yeah. So I do not know how to speak English correctly. Can that problem be solved? Can. So problems which come from me can be solved. Some problems, look at that box on the bottom right. Some problems are within my control. For example, um, I have no money. Is there a problem? Yes. Can that problem be solved? Yes. How? Respond. Work for it. Okay. Cool. Start. Find a job. Cool. I start. Work. Get to know. I Give me something else. Save money, can Fatin, stop. Give me one more. Start a business, cool, stop. Steal, is that a choice? Yeah, your choice to go to jail. <laughs> so I have no money, can that problem be solved? Can. So a problem within my control can also be solved. Some problems, are beyond my control. For example, you want to go to class, it's raining heavily. Can that problem, is that a problem? Yes. Can that problem be solved? Yes. How? Respond. Rain. Problem beyond your control. How do you solve? Umbrella. Can. Stop. I think. Some more. Give me a different one. Run through it. Yeah. Cool. Stop. Use a rain call. Cool. Stop. Take a grab, go cool, start. Don't go to class. Is that a choice? Yeah. Shut up, yes, sir. Panas, thing of panas. So the problem of rain, can it be solved? Yes. So problems beyond your control can also be solved. 
So here's the secret. Some problems come from me. Some problems are within my control. Some problems are beyond my control. Every problem has a solution. You learn this sentence since you were small. Every problem has a solution. You learn this sentence since you were small. But again, your teachers forgot to tell you the secret second sentence. What's the secret second sentence, Alia? It's not on the screen. <laughs> What's the secret second sentence? Mm -hmm. Every solution. Um, every solution. You best to do it. <laughs> every solution begins with who? Every solution begins with a step. Me. Mm -hmm. <laughs> every solution begins with me. Oh. Can kita belajar? Setiap penyakit ada ubatnya. Every sickness has a cure. Yang nak makan ubat tu siapa? Me. Makan this way ke? Cucuk badan ke? Cut it up ke? Choose lah. So every problem has a solution and every solution begins with me. So stop bangawing lah. Find a way. Yeah. Let's say when there's a problem, you find a way. The problem is still there. So you find another way. The problem is still there. You find another way. Stop problem still there. Find another way. Until when? Until when you change, 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 change the way you solve the problem. Until when? Until you're satisfied. You may not solve the problem. But if you're satisfied, okay. Ah. Because when you reach this level of satisfaction, you reach this level called acceptance. In Arabic, we call it redo. Yeah. Find a way, find a way until it makes you happy. You may not get what you want, but if you're happy, fine. Some people get so stuck in life because they say, ah, oh, there's this problem and they get stuck. Just find a way. Find a way, find a way. Until when? Until you're satisfied. Now somebody once told me, said, Cik Rizal ni senang cakap ni. Ya, yeah, memang senang cakap. Cakap je lah. Until when? Until you senang. <laughs> Until you feel good about it. Alright, now at this moment of time, you are at 10.08. Are you still with me? Because if you're not, then I'm going to just stop, just stop there. So Alia is, Ain is, Mariam is, okay, Akimi of course. Are you still with me? Just checking. All right, cool. Let's continue then. How much effort does it take to be better than today? Respond on the chat box. A lot, Keta Kimi. How much effort does it take to be better than yesterday? Better to be better than today. How much effort? Cannot count. Maksudnya banyak lah. You know why you say you guys say a lot takes a lot of effort because it has been implanted in into your head when people say what um, you must go out of your comfort zone. Have you heard that before? going out of your comfort zone. Yeah, and you say, ah, oh, there's a lot of effort. But imagine this. In a race, 100 meter race, there are eight runners. How many people get number one? One. Yeah. Why? Because he or she ran 0 0.1 second faster than number two. Sikit je lagi. It takes very little to become better than yesterday. It takes very little effort. So I do not agree about when people say, go out of your comfort zone. I say, expand your comfort zone. 
Because to me, going out of your comfort zone is like taking a fish out of the aquarium. What happens to the fish? It dies. <laughs> so don't go out of your comfort zone because you're going to die. I say expand your comfort zone. Orang Melayu kata apa? Sikit-sikit, lama-lama jadi bukit. Little by little. Yeah. Expand your comfort zone. It doesn't take much effort. Expand your comfort zone. Read, read the Quran once a day. Uh, do tahajud, you know, once a week. <laughs> sikit, sikit. Because when you do that, you'll be better, you'll be better than yesterday. Yeah. It doesn't take much effort. Remember, a person who takes charge is a person who loves change. Do you have to do a big change? No. Just bit by bit. As long as you're consistent, you're on your way already. It's much better than all those other people who do a big change and then they do it that just at one time and then they die. We're nearing the end to my session. Do you all have ambitions? I'm sure you have. I mean, when you were small, when you were small, did you have ambitions? I'm sure you did. What were your ambitions? Just curious. Band students before they became band students. What were your ambitions when you were small? Respond. Doctor kata alia. Lawyer kata I. I'm interested to know Maria punya ambition when she was small. Speech pathologist. Fuyo, <laughs> fu. When you were small, seriously. <laughs> Doctor. <laughs> All right, come on. The rest of you, what, what, what was your ambition when you were small? Fashion designer. <laughs> Surgeon, comic artist. <laughs> Maria, I'm flexible. I can be anything in, in time. Yeah, cool. <laughs> All right. Clearly, clearly, uh, we're not living the dream, are we? You know, we all en ended up as band students. <laughs> You know why? Because when you're small, when your parents ask you, Nak jadi apa ni? What do you want to be? And then some of you, like, like Alia tadi lah, I want to be a doctor. But her parents forgot to ask the secret second question. What doctor? Heart surgeon ke? Dentist ke? Vet ke? Doctor PhD in economics ke? They tak clear. They tak clear. So when, when she was not clear, as she grew up in life, uh, were there many challenges? Yeah, SPM challenges, family challenges, relationship challenges, which attack her every day. So because she was not clear what she wanted and she got all those challenges, then she got derailed and she ended up as a band student today. <laughs> Whatever you want in life must be clear. If you're not clear, then you won't get what you want. That includes today. You are here in IUM to build a career. But if that career is not clear, crystal clear, then you're going to end up somewhere else. So let me help you get things clear. Yeah. Let me get you, I'm going to give you seven tips on how to get your goals clear, yeah? So to end up my session, I'm gonna give you these seven tips. Are you ready? Say yes. Mariam, could you read uh, Ayn's question? She wrote a question I missed out. Uh, do we need to do what we, do we need to do what did we love or just go with the flow? I have a problem with go with the flow, people. You know why? Because to me, if the flow leads you to a long tongue, how? <laughs> people will say go with the flow. They, they always have this perception the flow will be smooth sailing. But we, what if the flow leads you to a long tongue? So why, why don't you take charge? Why don't you decide your flow? And yeah, why not find something that you love to do? 
Now, some of you say, hey, what I love to do doesn't bring in the money. Who said? Who said that? Past experience. I mean, Allah yang memberi rezeki. Yeah. Then who said that? Let me give you these seven tips to help to get your goals clear. Okay. Tip number one. Alia, you're going to read tip number one. Okay, so the first one is write what you want, not what you don't want. Thank you. Write what you want, not what you don't want. Now you can take a picture of this or you write it down, your choice. Let me explain what it means. Let's say you go to a restaurant. You go to a restaurant and then uh, mama restaurant, uh, make it simple. You go to a mama restaurant and when you sit down, the mama comes over and says, what do you want to eat? And then you say, I don't want me. I don't want rice. I don't want roti. By the time you reach the fourth one, what you don't want, the mama is going to say, what you want? <laughs> so say what you want, not what you don't want. So instead of saying, I don't want to be a failure, you say, I want to succeed. Instead of saying, I don't want to be sick, you want to say, I want to be healthy. Instead of saying, I don't want to be poor, you say, I want to be rich. So you say what you want, not what you don't want. My late mother, when she was young, she often, tell, she, she often told her friends, you know, I don't want to marry a guy whereby the guy's house in the middle of the sawah padi. <laughs> My father, his house was in the middle of the sawah padi. <laughs> what you don't want, you get. So always say what you want. Not what you don't want. Tip number one. Tip number two. Mariam, you're going to read. Be as detailed and as specific as possible. Thank you, Mariam. Be as detailed, as specific as possible. So for example, you go to the mama stall again. And before you sit down, you shout at the mama, I want to eat. <laughs> what will the mama say? Eat what? But you say, eat rice lah. Mama respond, what rice? The, the, the rice with the big plate lah. <laughs> and the, the, the discussion will carry on until the mama understands what you want. Then he will know what to do. Now, in our heads, there's that mama waiter also. And every time we say, I want to be successful, that mama waiter in the head says, successful like how? And then you respond, successful like uh, rich lah. And then the mama waiter says, rich like how? And then you answer, rich, rich like how? Yeah, ringgit or rupiah. <laughs> See? Then because your head doesn't know what to do, then you will never get what you want. So be as detailed and as specific as possible. So if you say, I want to buy a house, is that clear? No. House, what house? Banglo. Banglo, what? Ten rooms, six rooms, five rooms, three rooms. What do you mean? I want to buy a house in Kuala Lumpur. Is that clear? No. Kuala Lumpur, big. Where? Right until you can see the colors of the walls. That's clear. I want to buy a car. Is that clear? No. I want to buy a proton. Is that clear? No. First hand, second hand, or ten hand? <laughs> You know, many of you during December, many of our friends during December, yeah, they have this what New Year's resolution kind of thing. And among the New Year's resolution would be what? I want to lose weight. <laughs> and every year they put on more weight. You know why? <laughs> because they're not clear to lose weight to what kilogram, when they want to start losing weight, when they want to reach the weight they want, they're not clear. So when they're not clear, their friends bring chocolate, tomorrow lah I diet. <laughs> they get distracted, yeah? they lose their weight. Whatever you want in life must be crystal clear, as specific as possible. Tip number four. Right, sorry, tip number three. Right with faith. I'm, I'm saying right, you know why? I'm not saying say it. I'm saying write it. Tuliskan. Right. 
Why right? Because remember I told you, what's in the head, it's not permanent. It changes very quickly. So when you write it out, you can see it. And when you write it out, write with faith. Remember faith, where's faith in the heart? Meaning what? Meaning when you write something, you must feel for it. If you're writing what you want in life, but you don't feel for it, then most likely you're not going to get it. Scientists say what? Scientists say emotion drives behavior. I'm going to repeat that. Emotion drives behavior. Meaning whatever you want, there must a feel for it. If you don't feel for it, then, then, then that most likely that's not what you want. Tip number four. Write using confident words. Write using confident words. What are examples of non, non-confident words? Give me one. Not confident words. Cannot. That's a not confident word. Can. Stop. Some more. Insecure. <laughs> yeah. Then students will respond that way. <laughs> not good enough. Go. Star, star. I ain't star. Perhaps. But in star. What if? Go. Star. Let me give you a few more. Try. That's not, that's not a confident word. I mean, uh, uh, watch Alia and Mariam. Alia and Mariam, do your finger like this. Do your finger like this. Okay. Try to touch your nose. That one touch, Alia. I said try to touch. Where God try to touch is either you touch or you don't. Where God try, try. <laughs> try, try, ma. <laughs> it's either you do it or you don't. Watch Star Wars. There, uh, there is no try, <laughs> only do, yeah. Or, or, or this other word, uh, think. I think. Is that a confident word? Let's say you meet you meet Hakimi, my 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 brother there, Hakimi. You meet Hakimi late night in Kuala Lumpur, and then Hakimi says, "I think I'm a man." Would you be confident with him? Nah, you run. <laughs> I'm a man, confident. I think I'm a man. Contoh, hmm. give me contoh. <laughs> so, what are confident words? I can, I want. Those are confident words. I have faith. Those are confident words. Okay. So, write using confident words. Tip number five. Akimi, can you read tip number five? I can, sure. All right. Say it out with emotion. Thank you. Say it out with emotion. You know, whatever you want in life, you must say it out. Or not, you won't get it. I mean, we cannot be successful alone, right? We need people's help. But if you don't say it out, how are people going to help you? If you don't talk during an interview, you're never going to get a job. If you don't say anything in front of the kadi, you're not going to get married. <laughs> yeah. So what you want in life must say it out. You must say it out and say it out with emotion. If you say, I want to get married, no one's going to help you. I want to get married. Oh. People move. Yeah. Say it out with emotion. Maria, tip number six. Always update your book. Thank you. Thank you. Always update your goals. Whatever you want in life, yeah. If you if you write it today, a month after today, relook at those goals and update them. Yeah. Make it clearer and clearer and clearer for you. I mean, whatever you write today, a month later, and you look at them, it's still the same, then your goals will die. You know why? Because everything in life changes every second. So if you write what you write today and a month later you look at your goals and nothing has changed, then your goals are going to die. Your goals of life must live. How? Update it. Make, make your deadlines clearer. Make, give specific dates. 
put color, put pictures if you want, make it clearer and clearer for you. Alia, last one, tip number seven. Last one is when you have achieved your goals, quickly make new goals. Thank you, Alia. When you achieve your goals, quickly make new goals. If you ask uh, many students in uh, right after their SPM, they're saying, oh, I'm praying to get into a university. And then they get into university. After year one, they get out of university. They get thrown out of university. Why? <laughs> because their prayer is to get in, never to graduate. <laughs> I'm sure right now, many university students are praying, ah, they want to graduate. Well, when they graduate, they don't get a job for months, for years. Why? Because they don't make new goals. Some people, they say, I want to get married. But they don't make new goals. After they get, after they get married, what happens? They marry some more. <laughs> they recycle the old goal. Your, your, your minds are like full of CDs. It goes round and round and round and round. So when it goes one round, what you must do is quickly make new goals. Because if you don't, then your mind recycles the old goal. So you're successful, but you're not getting anywhere. So once you achieve one goal, quickly make new goals. These are the seven goals, seven tips that I can suggest to you to get your goals clear. Now, Mind you, this is your life, not mine. I've led my life. I'm leading my life. How about you? So take the time throughout any time of your life to get your goals clear. And I'm not just saying just for graduation day. Da -da -da -da. Put it into categories. What do you want for yourself? What do you want for your family? What do you want in terms of a career? I want to start a business, for example. Okay, what business? What is the name of the business? Make it specific, make it clear, using those seven steps that I just gave you. All right. Tell me how you feel at this moment of time, ladies and gentlemen. I mean, from the start of the whole program until this now, have your emotions changed? For Hakimi, refresh. Give me body. <laughs> How do you feel? Remember, emotion drives behavior. You say you learn a lot of things, but you don't feel anything, and you're not getting anywhere. All right, cool. Relief. Cool. Okay. Anything anybody felt negative? Lean back. I mean, no feeling is a feeling, right? <laughs> Calm. Okay, cool. Take the time to get your emotions in check because that, those same emotions are going to drive you to get where you want to be. If you don't feel anything, you're not going to get anywhere. And the worst thing that, about that is everybody gets to where they want and you're still lost. Yeah. Now, it's good that you feel lost now, Alia. At least you know. Many people don't. <laughs> until something happens to them. So if you feel lost now, then take the time to get yourself in check. Huh? Use those seven steps I gave you. Uh, Fatin, I need to change. That's not a feeling. That's what you want to do, Fatin. Mariam Keta enlightened. Ugh. All right. Take the time. Then in one minute, okay? Take the time in one minute. You learned a lot of things today, tonight with me. Take the time to write down what you're gonna do about it. I'm gonna give you one minute, start now. Remember, you learned a lot of things already tonight. Take one minute now to write down what you're gonna do about it. What are you gonna do with all this learning? If you don't do anything about it, it's like having a car but no petrol, no good. <laughs> Not going anywhere. Yes, you say you learned a lot of things today. All right, fine. What are you going to do about it? One minute starts now.
All right. Time is at 10.32 right now. If you have a question to ask, this will be a good time to ask the question before I let you go. Malu nak tanya soalan bang now. So mm, I think a... I, I think I have a question. Yes, I think I'm a man. Alia, you have a question <laughs> or not? As I have a question. Okay, there you go. Okay, so like uh, I would say uh, my current situation right now, I kind of derive from my initial uh, dream, which is to become an aubergine actually, actually, pakai sakit puan. So uh, honestly, um, I do have plan for once I graduated from UIA, yeah. but at the same time, I'm not really confident with it. Yeah. Meaning that it's uh, it's just that all the stuff that you know how the pros and cons keeps on playing in my mind. It's it's just so hard for me to push through with the plan that I've um I would say I've um set up for like few months already i think yeah because like i said earlier i want to be speech pathologist mm. and the requirement in ui is different uh, in malaysia is different meaning that i have to complete all the clinical hours and all so it's like taking another degree. Alia, what's your question, Alia? What's your question okay sorry for sorry my question is um what if you feel what if you feel scared who feel and... me you what if I feel yeah, scared? Yeah. yeah, sorry. If I feel scared, yeah. Um how how should I react to the situation? Meaning that how should I, you know, like re um recompose myself so that I can, you know, have more confidence to go through to go to do what I want to do with the things that I have planned. Scared is not a negative emotion, Alia. I mean if it scares you towards your goal, then be scared lah. But if scares, if, if scare stops you from getting what you want in life, then find another emotion lah. You see, some people do good because they want to go to heaven. They're encouraged to. They want to. Some people do good because they're afraid of hell. They're running from something. So if this feeling of being scared it drives you towards your goal, go ahead, be scared because that's what you want, right? But if it stops you from going to your, towards your goal, then my suggestion is either you find another goal or you find another emotion. Oh, yeah. Okay. Not getting a goal now doesn't mean you will never get it forever. Yeah, For all you know, one day you give birth to a child and that child achieves your goal. And that has happened so many times for so many other people. Yeah. So as long as it's in your head and that's something that you want to do, then you find a way. You might even be a well-read you know, uh, lady yang ilmu sakit buat well read is that you don't have that PhD, the, the, the doctor that doctorate in front of your name that's all yet you go around the world and telling people about how uh, helping all these ladies in the world has that happened for so many people yes <laughs> my, my my wife she's a trained accountant she does audit and whatnot but among the things that she does right now is advice uh, ladies on how to make their children become better people. Nothing to do with what she was learning. And she learned that after her degree. You know, after years in boiling over accounts and audit and stuff, and then she says, that's it. She wants to do something else. So, Aria, as long as it's in your head and you feel that that's something that you want to do, and get it done. Yeah, people say, you don't have the credentials and stuff, so what? <laughs> So what? Uh, I mean, when I do business, people don't ask for to see my degree. They hardly look at my certificates. Well. Yet they still call me around the world. So if, if the tears that are coming down your, your face right now helps you get to where you want to be, then cry. But if it doesn't, 
go get my emotion, go eat ice cream. So, right. next question. Come on. Things happen. Does it mean that it will be like that for the rest of your life? No, because now you have a choice. Choose that. Find a way. Will there be problems? Yes, no problem, no fine. Every problem has a solution. So find the solution. Until when? Until you're satisfied. Then you know. Because once you're satisfied, then you know Allah knows best. What's better for you? Okay. Next question. Come on. Well, we're still online. Uh, for those of you who don't know yet, Alia wants to uh, do another program with me. And the next time you meet me, I'll show you uh, communication tips, yeah? How to make people fall in love with you very fast. So for those of you who are single, <laughs> you want to see me again? <laughs> I'll show you tips how when I meet my clients within, within, uh, within 15 minutes, whatever I'm selling, they will buy. <laughs> yeah. So the next time you see me, you will learn powerful communication skills. At this moment of time, if you have a question to ask, this would be a good time to ask the question. Mizan? Yes. Could I ask you a question? Can. All right. So, um, uh, satu, question, satu soalan yang, yang selalunya apa nama, bertanya pada diri kan. Hmm. As, uh, dulu sebagai mahasiswa, sekarang dah tak bagai mahasiswa lah. Hmm. So, soalan saya adalah macam mana nak terima setiap apa yang datang kepada kita tu whether is benda yang kita suka ataupun tidak macam ni kita nak belajar untuk menerima walaupun benda tu berat sebab kadang-kadang sebagai mahasiswa ni uh, example lah contoh kan uh, dia pilih untuk dia masuk ke dalam universiti ni tapi dia dia kadang-kadang ditimpa dengan pelbagai masalah kadang-kadang masalah dengan kawan masalah dengan tu so dia orang ada emosi-emosi dia orang so macam mana macam mana untuk uh, macam Rizal ajar uh, learn to let it go kan so hmm. macam mana kaedah step by step yang mungkin boleh uh, diamalkan lah untuk uh, sebagai seorang mahasiswa i use i like to use the word learn and let go i don't like to say use the word uh, forgive and forget because you can never forget learn and let go things happen to you learn from it Use patience. The reason kita ni get upset when things happen to us kerana kita rasa kita ni pandai. <laughs> you know? uh, we forget that Allah, Allah knows best. Okay? And we forget that Allah do what Allah does and this is what we call faith. Now, if you cannot accept that faith, then make a choice lah. Yeah, find another way, find another way, find another way, find another way. Until when? Until you're satisfied. Until you say, hmm, Allah knows best. Until you can say that, keep on making those choices because it is a choice. Find another way. The reason we get so upset is because we said, hey, I know best. Paling turu antara kita ni, siap question buat, why? <laughs> Who are we to question God? Seriously, why? <laughs> nah, nah. Manage your patience. Yeah, manage your patience means you know. So many people talk about manage your stress, manage your anger. No, no. I'm saying manage your patience. You can feel stressed out. You can feel. You can cry. You can even be angry. Can, but. Be angry with patience lah. Then you tak mencarut. You don't curse. You want to cry, can. Cry with patience. Then you don't become depressed. You want to be stressed, can. Fine. Be stressed with patience. Use patience as, as a, what you call it, that control knob. So I'm not saying do not cry, do not be angry, do not be stressed out. Right? I'm not saying that. You will be stressed out. You will be angry. You will cry. I mean, those are emotions which God gave you. Look at again. 
Just be patient about it. How to manage patience? That's a, that's a four step thing. That you communicate. <laughs> yeah. Uh, for those of you who want to shortcut to how to manage patience, you go to my YouTube. You go to my YouTube channel, um, my name, Muhammad Rizal Hassan, and you type there, how to manage patients. Yeah, pengurusan sabar. You see steps on how to manage patients. I'll show you how. Boleh All right. Thank you, Rizal. Right. Amazing uh, as always. Uh, I, I'm taking out a lot of your time, ladies and gentlemen. Thank you very much for being with me tonight. Yeah. Uh, apart from... Uh, Ali, when was that date we discussed that we're going to do this again? Um, we're planning to do it on 18 of uh, November, but we might need to change the date as well because yeah. we somehow, uh, yeah, we might need to discuss for a date again later because yeah. there's a few problems on that day. Yeah, no problem. You tell me. Okay. Uh, until then, until we meet again, we can always be on LinkedIn, uh, YouTube, even Spotify. Or you can catch me on Spotify. Uh, just type my name or you type there, Mudahnya Guna NLP. It's a podcast which I, I run. Uh, Mudahnya Guna NLP, whereby you learn how to use this technique called NLP to do a lot of things. Yeah, How to read people, how to profile people. Uh, thank you, Hakimi. What day is your again? Thank you very much. <laughs> tunjuk lagi sekali, pelan-pelan. Lagi mai, tunjuk. Tak clear, atas sikit. Tutup muka you. Atas lagi, tunjuk tutup muka you dengan buku tu. There you go. Mudahnya guna NLP. It's a book and it's also a podcast. And the podcast is free, the book you have to buy. <laughs> ah, talking about the book, uh, Mariam and Alia nanti give me your full name and address and phone number Mariam, yeah. Um, catch me on on YouTube and uh, uh, on LinkedIn. You want to you want to follow me on uh, Facebook? Can you want to be friends? Uh, I have to delete a few hundred people, famous people, macam tu lah. You know, too many people. Penuh <laughs> mereka. All right, uh, back to you, Maria. Thirty ten forty four. Uh, with that, I just want to say. Uh, on behalf of elites, thank you very much, Rizal, for being here with us. Um, again, your advice on uh, stop bangawing and that nothing actually goes by accident. Every choice is the right choice. And also, I personally like it when you said that challenges are not punishments, but just reminders from Allah. And also, um, the seven tips to get our goals clear and of course to all participants tonight you guys are awesome don't forget to click the link in the chat box and give your feedback on this event okay all right hope to see you again on next uh, on our next event till then assalamu have a night Salam have a good night <laughs> everyone bye thank you thank everyone. you everybody thank you everyone thank you akimi thank you helping out. thank you thank you uh, that, thank you uh, i record the session in the cloud eh? you can search at the cloud of uh, account zoom oh, oh my my account zoom ah my account yeah all right cool thank you very much okay, okay. i totally forgot to start <laughs> recording <laughs> okay uh, what happened tadi tu menggegau tak sekejap oh ya yeah. <laughs> uh, it, it happens i am looking at liam if it means it happens uh, on a normal basis at situ uh well not really but yeah sometimes it did happen from time to time okay. we we try our best to you know keep our the the link uh between the students so i feel like the persons um uh doing it is part of the students yeah so but we don't yeah. know who they really are yeah never mind that's all so, i you ever <laughs> selalu tengok dekat tiktok tiba-tiba berlaku betul-betul dekat zoom yeah <laughs> And that's my first experience. Yeah, ada that's... dua tiga, ada dua tiga event macam gitu juga. We try to, you know, macam strengthen the security and all, but yeah. I, I just don't know how they got in. Ah. I'm sorry yeah. for crying actually. Yeah, <laughs> no problem, no problem, no problem. It's, it's okay. To cry. At least you can cry. At Especially least you can emotion. cry. Yeah, Hakimi cannot cry. I cannot cry. <laughs> <laughs> all right, guys. Thank you very much. You take care, Alia. Thank you, Maria. Thank you, everyone. Thank you, everybody. Assalamualaikum.
ਸਲਾਮ